Hello everyone, welcome back to Drive Your Logic. So today I'm back with sums on place value and phase value. So before we start with place value and phase value, I want to discuss with you the Indian system of numeration and international system, which I have already discussed in one of my video. You all can watch that. So what is Indian system of numeration? Okay, so there are they are written in this way. Okay, in ones. Suppose you take ones. So these are the periods. Okay, thousand. Lakhs and crore. So under this ones, what comes? Ones, tens, and hundred. Then a comma. Then under thousand, th, tth. Then under lakh, tl, l, and under crore, tc. C. So this is Indian system of numeration, whereas international system, it will be a bit different. The commas place will be different, and there are three periods. Okay. So what are those? Ones, the same, then thousand, and then million. So these are the three periods in international system. So this is Indian system, and this is international system. Clear? Now, under international system, same thing you need to write in this way. Thousand will be T H T T H and H T H and in million it will be million ten million hundred million. That means this ten crore means hundred million. Crore means ten million. Ten lakh means Million. So, lakh means only lakh means hundred thousand, ten thousand TTH and TTH. From this part, you can see it is similar, right? From this part, it is similar. But then changes comes from here, where in international system you will get hundred thousand, whereas in Indian system it is lakh. Million means ten lakh. Ten million means crore. Hundred millions means ten crore. So these are the numerations. Now we will learn today what is place value and phase value. So you take any number. Suppose I'm taking, generally we do in Indian system. Okay, now suppose I'm taking 25 lakh. Suppose I have taken this number and I'm asking you, what is the place value of this five? So what you will do, you can write down directly as 5 lakh or what you can do, you write that 5 and after that, how many numbers are there, digits are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you put 5 zeros. So what is the place value? Place value is 5 and 5 zeros, whereas what is the phase value if I ask? Just 5. That means what is phase? What does this number say? Who is this? Okay, so that is called phase. Who is this number? Okay, so this number is five. So that is called FV, phase value. And this one is PV, clear? So this is all about place value and phase value. And now I'm going to show you few sums on this. So this is our question. What is the value of three in the number 2370186? So you may get afraid. What is this? So big number, Not, nothing to worry, okay? So the place value of this number is, you just write down this three. And after that, how many digits are there? 
five digits, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five digits. Just you put five zeros, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is the easiest one. You may write into this, uh, suppose uh, if you want to write in numeration, so you put ones, tens, hundred, thousand, TTH, then lakh, 10 lakh. So if you want to write in numeration, you can write down three lakh also, fine. And what is the phase value? Just the number itself. Very easy. Yes, so I'm showing you one more sum. Suppose the question, same question. What is the value of three in the number? And there are two threes are there. For example, the number is two, three, seven, zero, three, eight, four. This is the number. So find the difference between both the place values of three. So find the difference. So difference means what? Subtraction. Difference means subtraction. Difference means what? Subtraction. Now, first you have to find out the place value of this three and then this three. So place value of first three will be how much? Three, one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. And then the place value of the next three will be 300. So you write down 300 here because you need to find the difference. It can be sum also. It can be a product also, okay? It can be a division also. You can do a division also. So now we are finding difference. Now you just subtract it. Zero, zero, seven. You have taken carry, so nine, nine, two. And this is your answer. So in this way, you're going to find out sums on place value and phase value. There can be questions in this way also that what is the place value of seven and the phase value and find the difference. So in the same number, if I want to find the place value of seven is how much? Place value of seven is seven and one, two, three, four zeros are there. And what is the phase value of seven? This seven, the seven number itself. So you just write down the seven and find the difference. So 10 minus seven is three, then nine, 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 six. So this is your answer, clear? So in this way, we're going to find out all types of place value and phase value sums, clear? So that's all for today. If you like my video, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe my channel. Ta-da!